Hiya folks, welcome to a weathering video. This is a Lima uh, bogey tanker in Texaco livery. I got for the grand sum of four quid from uh, a local model shop of mine that I frequent. And the order of the day is upgrades. With it being a HO model, I've had to cut off the buffer beams and bogies and adjust them and what have you. As well as all the little bits and pieces which we're going to get uh, put back on later on. These ladders are pretty delicate, so they're just going to put to one side for now. Uh, we, we can't uh, tank off of the chassis. The previous owner lost the screws and has glued it on. So we're going to use our old friend masking tape to stop the chassis from being painted. I'm just using Rattle Can Grey from Halfords. Uh, it's a good primer and it's this, about the same sort of colour as the tankers uh, were back in the day. <laughs> we're just going to rattle can this in the garden now. It's only a base coat and it's going to get wet later on so it'll look pretty good once it's done. There we go, so back inside, we're now going to do my favourite part of the whole thing and weather it. I'm going to move this paint out of the way of the course, you won't be using that. And we're going to weather this exclusively with powders, uh, I think these give the best effect. We're not going too heavy, uh, this tanker does have a hard life but it's still well within its uh, active life. So there won't be too much rust, a little bit on the buggy and a lot of streaking and what have you. So let's uh, crack on and see... Uh, what we can make of this little three quid wagon.
Okay, let's have a look at the finished article. I am really pleased with this. It's not over the top, and it just gives that impression of a well-worked piece of equipment that lives on a siding somewhere doing its job refueling a depot. So thanks for sticking with it, folks. Uh, give us a like, comment, subscribe, and share the video if the mood takes you. Cheers now. See you all very, very soon.